everybody. This is Jay Scott Heath with Heath Flex Vision. Today is Saturday, April 2nd, 2010. And uh, if you didn't know what today is, today is actually Global Autism Awareness Day. So uh, in appreciation, uh, I'm wearing blue for, for autism awareness. And uh, I'd like to say that uh, Heath Flex Vision is a proud supporter of uh, autism awareness. As a matter of fact, we have a son who is, who is autistic. And because of uh, your support and your donations, uh, we've been able to do some wonderful things for my son and get him involved in some fantastic activities. So if you can, uh, I've got a link posted on the HeathplexVision.com website. If you'd like to donate, just click on the big Autism Speaks logo and uh, put your donation there. Every little bit helps. Today, uh, since it's Saturday and the weather is beautiful, it's nice and hot, uh, I want to talk about keeping things cool, especially all that very expensive home theater equipment you either currently own or because of my blog, you are now buying. Uh, but today specifically, I want to talk about uh, AV cooling. Spe uh, specifically, you know, I say that word a lot, uh, but I want to talk about how do you keep your receiver cool. Um, this is pretty important because I actually lost a piece of equipment due to inadequate cooling. And I had my DVD player on top of, of my receiver, my Onkyo receiver. A lot of receivers these days, especially ones that are putting out 100 watts or more, produce a lot of heat. And if you notice on the top of the receiver, there's a nice little grill that's to dissipate some of that heat. Uh, I had mine in an, in an entertainment center. I still have it in a, inside an entertainment center with a glass door that closes over the top. And I didn't have very good cooling. Uh, there wasn't enough airflow going on, and over time that DVD player would heat up, cool down, heat up, cool down, and eventually it damaged the circuitry and the components within the DVD player. So what I decided to do to prevent this is one, remove the DVD player from the top of my, my Onkyo receiver. I actually cut a hole in the back of my entertainment center, and uh, that provided some additional cooling. But I ran across this device a few weeks ago. Uh, this is an Antec AV cooler. And I found this on Amazon.com. I actually found it in a couple different magazines, uh, um, uh, uh, Stereo Review or uh, 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 Stereo Vision, whatever the heck they're calling it now. Um, you can find this type of uh, product in a number of different magazines. Um, this thing runs about 70 bucks, and what it does is it just sits right on top of your receiver. And it it kind of looks like a piece of uh, stereo equipment. It's about an inch thick. It has the little pedestals that kind of match most stereo equipment out there. And it's got two fans underneath it, and it basically pulls the air up and away from the receiver and throws it right out the back. And uh, I have noticed a significant, significant temperature drop within my uh, entertainment center since I've had this thing. And the beautiful thing about this is uh, this is about the same size as the top of my receiver. I can now put a piece of equipment on top of this device, and there's no heat coming up underneath it. It's nice and cool. Uh, definitely a great investment a small monetary investment at seventy dollars uh, to protect that thousand dollar home stereo system you're looking for and if you've got multiple pieces of equipment that are producing a lot of heat uh, you can buy again buy a bunch of these uh, and, and put them into your various stereo racks uh, or if you like to keep it hidden underneath a little uh, a shelf or something throw that in there uh, some other options you can get computer fans uh, aftermarket screw them into the back of your, your entertainment center, pull some of that heat out, that'll always help. Uh, but I wanted something that was a little bit cooler than that, uh, uh, cooling as far as aesthetics go. Uh, this device plugs right in the back of my receiver. It has a uh, on-off switch right on the front. It's got a low setting and a high setting. It's got a little blue LED, it shows you when the device is on. As far as sound, a lot of people are like, you know, am I gonna hear this fan? At the low setting, which is what I usually keep it on, it's not very loud at all. As a matter of fact, with normal television, I can't even hear it. Um, when I have everything turned off and I just turn the receiver on, yeah, you're going to hear the fan. On the high setting, it's obviously going to be a little bit louder just because these fans are cranking up. But again, if you're watching something, you're not going to notice it too much. And because it plugs into the back of the receiver, when my receiver turns off, this turns off as well. So it's not running constantly, which is really nice. Uh, I'm going to take you downstairs. I'm going to show you how I have it hooked up, and, uh, and then uh, we'll continue from there. All right, folks, here we are down in my basement, and uh, here's the entertainment center that I have. It's inside this glass case here. Uh, definitely looks like I need to get on the uh, window cleaning right now. But if you, if I open up the case here, uh, there's my receiver. Uh, it's Onkyo receiver. Everything's turned off right now, and here is the actual fan itself. As you can see, it's only about maybe an inch thick, and here's the little switch on the front. It goes from low to high, and you can, you can actually see the pedestals uh, right here on the corners. And, uh, and it just has a power plug. And I basically just plug it into the back of my receiver. There's two large fans on the base of it. 
and like I said earlier, you can pile something right on top of this thing. It's, it's sturdy enough to hold plenty of weight, um, which is really nice. So if I turn on the receiver here, you can see the blue light indicator turns on, and um, I don't even know if you can hear it, but uh, you might be able to hear my air conditioning fan over the over the fan over the uh, sound of this fan. But that's pretty much low setting. If I switch this up to high, you might be able to hear a little bit. Like I said, it's not too bad. Um, let's see, I said I close this case up, but I've got a small hole uh, cut out in the back of the entertainment center so that uh, I get some good airflow. But uh, again, it's pretty convenient, and uh, they did a really good job with the form factor. Kind of fits in with that home theater look, uh, and that's something I wanted for. I didn't want all these fans attached to the back of my entertainment center. Um, so, like I said, for seventy bucks, it's been a pretty, pretty good investment, and uh, I'm pretty, pretty confident it's going to protect my receiver, um, pre receiver for the long haul. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video segment today. Again, we're looking at the Antec AV Cooler. $70, you can buy it on Amazon or from various stereo sites. Uh, definitely a very small investment to make in your $1,000 plus entertainment center. Um, I, I, I swear by this, whether you get this type of a fan or not, get something if you've got your stereo equipment enclosed into an entertainment center. You do not want that stuff uh, over time to damage your equipment and then have to reinvest in something new. Uh, this is definitely going to save me in the long run. Uh, again, if you've got questions, comments, uh, you're trying to figure out something for your home theater or electronic needs, let me know what you need. Take a look at HeathaplexVision.com. Contact me on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, check out my video blogs on Vimeo and TubeMogul. Let me know what I can do to help and let me know what I can do to improve your home electronic needs. Take care and have a wonderful Easter weekend. See ya.